Oh. Oh, I need to come off. Oh, I'm ready to one. That is amazing. Six forty AM on Saturday the twenty first of September. I just arrived at the volcano. I'm going to take the car park two. Um, just got one more day at the moment. Just about to set up my box so I'll actually do a normal feed rod on the diesel feed room. Start down tackle for bream roach as well today as well as any kind of pod out so that's a little bit of a nice egg and uh that's an option from some other species as well as just sitting around waiting for car. Hopefully we'll be back soon with fish to report. So it's 7.40am now. My uh Nash rod boil has been out an hour of single bleeps but I think that was probably just when I was knocking the uh, rod rest while I was setting up my other rod. I've now got my uh, ends on super slim, I can't remember, 13 foot rod out with a um, cage feeder with black bream ground bait with some corn in and I've got double maggots on, the, on a size 16 hook on this one so I'm just going for anything really on this rod I thought rather than just sitting around waiting for carp bites all morning I thought I would uh, go a bit back to basics and go to the fishing that I'm used to and see what other species there are I did start getting indications on method feeder in my last session at the very end although I was still using a large hook so fine, gone right fine down my main line's still 15 pound main line I've got a heli rig in there and a six inch hook length of four pound. So hopefully it's nice and sensitive at 0.13 millimetre. So it's nice and uh, delicate for the small fish and hook size will go into any fish's mouth. And hopefully we'll get some action. Some bloodworm pellet. Has it come off? Oh, I thought it would have a knock then. Oh, it's come off. Oh, frustrating. Um, yeah, so I uh, felt a couple of twitches and I thought I'd just tighten up the line and then you gave a proper, proper noise. But obviously, I didn't lift into it properly enough. So it didn't hook itself properly. Um, but yeah, I switched to the pellet on a band because I reeled them in on the first few casts and I, uh, the bait had come off on the hook. So I don't know whether it was maggots or you know, and corn, but I don't know if it was just coming off on the cast or just the fish was taking it off. So it was just the unknown of how long it had been out there without any uh, bait on so I thought if I put a band on then I know that I'm fishing the whole time in theory uh, so it was nice to get a, a bite but disappointing that it came off but I lost a couple last time as they had head nods so with the I was being a bit Harsh on the reeling in on that, I don't know.
there's a fish on the end. Little roach. <laughs> Obviously too small to make the rod twitch. Big enough to fit a six millimeter pellet in its mouth. There we are, a few ends, in he goes. Maybe a rud with a little bit of gold to it. There's a roach. There's a nice fish. I'm on a six and old bloodworm pellet again. Thin in the body. About five or six ounces. It's quarter past eleven now, and I've uh, just decided to uh, cast a spawn out with some big load of ground bait and corn in and some pellets. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. When I first arrived, really, I should have done. I completely forgot I even got my spawn with me, so I'm just going to do that now to try and attract some more fish around uh, my feeder rod. Jude Maggot. It's definitely some kind of bite. fish
So it's 1pm now. Um, I've just realised that the other night when I was uh, in my last session here, I was getting a few bites on method feeder. So I thought rather than using the cage feeder, I'd switch over to method feeder. So I've just cast out my six foot Nash rod, Nash dwarf rod, the large banjo feeder filled with a mix of krill and sweet f1 micro pellets and a um, six mil mainline tune wafter on that hook band. That's pretty much what I was using the noise except I was using a, an eight mil same wafter. Um, I've got the same hook as I've got on the other one, so I've got size 16. I think it's a Preston KM2. So it's smaller than I had on the other night. And, well, I don't know if you saw them, but I literally just had a little twitch on the rod then. So I think it's the micro pellets that they're going for, rather than the actual hook itself. <laughs> there is one on there. I don't know if I've instigated that by just twisting the line up again, whether it's just still on from that first knock. So it seems the method feeder just gives them that target to just go straight at the feeder and the hook bait, which obviously what it's designed for. Get ready about bumping this one off like I've done a couple in the past on method feeder here. I assume it's going to be another fairly small rope chicken. Decent one. Oh, it's come past me. Landing net. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice roach that is. So that switch from method from cage feeder to method feeder has instantly paid dividends. Same sort of size as my second roach earlier on, on the cage feeder. I tried that same wafter hook bait on the cage feeder earlier on with it. Did it any success? The only ones I've caught so far were on pellet. There he is, nice roach. Good quality. Tamo Lake Roach. That's another one. In a minute. Definitely moved onto that feed. The method feeder is definitely the tactic that's working. identical fish
think I've missed that one. I just had another one, another identical roach. And the battery had run out. Just changed the battery. And again, within a, another few minutes, I've just had that take there. All on method feeder. Krill micro pellets in the feeder and a 6mm mainline tuner wafter in the bait band, size 16 hook. It's just gone crazy as soon as I switched over to this feeder. Another little, little knock back, go on. That's another one. Yes. Finally, having some fun. now it's coming up to this there it is another matching fish and just tighten the line up and yeah it's on I think on that come on has it bumped itself off no I think on the uh, helicopter rig on the cage feeder I think they just got too much free line uh, to play with No, they're just picking up the pellet, the micro pellets, and just getting themselves hooked. Okay, I mean they're all identical. Nice chunk, a good quality roach. It's just exactly what I'd hoped for to keep me entertained. Well, hopefully. Something bigger, a bit of carp or a bream. Not moving on that quill boily. During the day, while I'm catching these. Necessarily mean a bigger fish, as I've come to find it in the past. That's the biggest bend I've seen in this rod for a while. I'm sure, it's going to be another one of those ropes. Bit 
slightly. Oh, it's a tiny little common calf. Oh, there you go. I did say it was a bigger take. I didn't realise there were carp that small in here. I assume that's from successful breeding in this lake rather than stocking. He's got a bit of a, a, bit of a straw in his mouth, but apart from that, it's a welcome sight. on this method rod now, 35 minutes. I've caught five roach, I've missed three bites and I've caught one little one pound common carp compared to two small roach and a couple of missed bites on the cage feeder before with the same hook. That's a knock minute and a half into the cast. Just tighten the line back up so that I can instigate a proper take for another bite. sharpen into another one feels very small though and start to drag it a sudden did not nod a bit now <laughs> it's come off the last minute Cast this uh, one out, and I'm going to swap the hook over for the other feeder rod in case it is. It has just got a little blunt over the last couple of bites of fish. That's a small little twitches so far on this cast. It's only two and a half minutes in. the hook ready to swap over from the other rod. So I've had five missed bites or fish come off now since I've had that little common carp. So I think this hook is a bit blunter. I don't think it's misshapen. But there's something not quite right so I just do want to swap it. That's another roach in the net. That's a nice quality roach. That might be the biggest of the day. It's a little bit deeper than the others. And it's the same again. There we are. Just 
small knock sir. Oh, he's on, he's got a V. Is it? Yeah, a little couple of nuts. nuts. Same sort of size as the very first one on the cage feeder. A few ounces, roach. Crazy on this method feeder. Oh, I pinch my bait, so worth all reading in, reading in. You have to think I was leaving you out there for 15 20 minutes on the cage feeder, and then only sometimes getting bites. Times it just oh, I miss, miss that one. But the boy times have just sneaked out a bit longer now. And that was five and a half minutes. Last cast before that I reeled in after eight minutes I thought my bait had come off. So it seems to have gone a bit quiet out after the hour of madness on that method feeder. I wonder if all the bait from the spotting has gone now or Spooked him a little bit after catching so many from the area in a short period of time.
and that's bite for ages. Just as I'm drinking a coffee. Ground way to put more fish back into the area. I did. Uh, I did try pellet for ten minutes though. So. Alright, been part of the reason, but it's definitely slowed down. A lot, so I'm glad to get another fish. But they've all got away. There's still some in the area, or back in the area. Another bite, another no fish. Oh dear. So obviously I'm uh, in the office at the moment, um, my battery's completely run out before the end of that session. So yeah, I just wanted to summarise uh, the session really. So in the morning, fish for five hours on the um, cage feeder with ground bait on a helicopter star rig. And I caught two roach on that setup. Uh, both of those came on a six millimetre bloodworm pellet. I did try maggots and corn as well, but I didn't catch any fish on those two baits. I did come back with chewed maggots a few times and there's a couple of minor touches but I think there was just a bit too freedom in that rig. So I just wasn't getting proper proper bites. Um, I did use a helicopter star because that's what I've always done with the carp fishing and there's a lot of weed on the bottom. So I was a bit cautious about using method feeder in case that was just going to get buried down into within the weed. So um, I, didn't, I didn't use that to start with but I have had minor success with method feeder um, with roach um, at Tamar previously so I thought well I had some other indications and I've caught a few roach previously let's just move to that method and, and see how we get on so I moved to a banjo feeder at 1pm and straight away it was just night and day so um, I was using krill sticky baits of krill micros in the feeder itself it's pressed in large banjo feeder and on the hook band I did try pellet, which I'd used earlier in the day, and didn't um, didn't catch. I don't think I caught any on the pellet on on the on the, method, on the banjo feeder, um, but all the ones that I did catch were all on this mainline six millimeter tuna wafter, the the fluoro pink ones. Um, and like I said, as soon as I changed over to the method feeder at one pm, it was just like three four minute casts and getting bites each time. Um, which resulted in 10 roach, they're all good quality roach, about the 6 to 8 ounce, something like that, maybe a bit less, but all good handful roach. Um, there was one surprise common carp as well, which was probably about a pound, um, which was nice to see because I didn't know there were any small carp in there, and one skimmer as well. So I'm definitely going to be doing that tactic alongside my carp rod in future, just to keep uh, keep me interested really. I don't know whether the activity from them casting the method feeder out and, and um, reading that in regularly disturbs any potential takes on the carp rod. There is that potential obviously and I've only got one carp rod out when I'm fishing the method feeder on the other rod. But for, for my style of fishing, uh, you know, I just like to have that kind of active interest in, in fishing. I can't quite convert over to the carp fishing 
fries on the end yet. I've tried it a few times, I've tried it for days on end. Um, I think it's just, I don't know if I'm not doing it enough or baiting enough or my bait tactics are wrong or something like that. But at the moment, I can't quite commit that many hours with little return um, or little reward. So I just need to try and either improve my patience or improve my tactics to, to kind of get more fish per hour fishing. But so at the moment, this, this kind of style suits me more and hopefully I'll be able to catch the odd one or two carp while I'm doing that as well in future sessions. So fingers crossed we're going to have a successful um, October thinking with my next sessions now when I can uh, get back out on the water and, and hopefully catch more and a few larger fish on the method feeder as well as one or two carp on my carp rod as well. Again, thanks for watching. Cheers.